welcome to another Secret Influence TV interview. So I'm Nick, Nick Ronald and I interview people who inspire or influence others through sharing their expertise or a story. And I believe everyone has a story to tell and everyone has expertise to share. And music is actually one of the greatest influences on our life, especially I think when we're, when we're um, it affects our mood, it can affect our uh, the way we where we um, socialise, it, it, it can actually have one of the biggest influences on us is music, and it's a great way of actually communicating as well. So today I'm interviewing Andrea D. So Andrea is a music producer, uh, she's an international female singer, songwriter and producer. So I'm very excited to chat to Andrea, she's been producing a new album and, and singing in lockdown, so we're going to chat about that. Um, so just to start, so to say welcome, Andrea, to, to the show. Thank you. Thank you. TV. Thank you. And um, so just to start with, you know, what style of music do you play? Just for, for audience, explain a bit about your music. What, what do you call your, your style of music? Yes, yeah, so I'm a singer-songwriter originally from Paris, France. Uh, my music is electro-pop. Uh, in the electro pop, uh, it all starts with piano and vocals, and then from there we kind of take it and give it, you know, the vibe or, uh, yeah. So electro pop is my style. Okay, electro pop, and is that so? I know some people sometimes people play a certain style of music, but actually listen to other styles of music. Is that the sort of music you listen to as well? Is that the no, sorry, what, what is that? I'm sort of saying that um, electro pop is the style of music you play. Is that also the style of music you listen to? Or, or do you listen to... Uh, yeah, 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 I listen to... Yeah, I listen... Well, yeah, I do listen to a lot of electro pop, but I also listen to a lot of different things. Um, because I'm a songwriter, I kind of... You know, my aim is to be able to write a song in any style. So sure. I'm... It depends on my mood. I'm of course. like on the mood kind of person. So it could be country. Okay. <laughs> it could okay. be, uh, you know, dance music because I'm okay. working out and I need something and I'm like, oh, this is great. Or, you know, sure. it could be acoustic or, um, yeah, rock and roll. Depends okay. on. Okay. But yeah, I listen to everything. Great. It's good to have variety. And what, what age did you start get, you know, getting into music? What, what age did you start singing? So, um, so I started, well, I came out at 12 years old and said I wanted to be a singer. Wow. So, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm going to be a singer. Um, nobody believed it. Nobody believed that that was possible. And also I wasn't somebody that was born with, you know, the most amazing talent that everybody looked <laughs> at and said, oh my gosh, she's amazing. No, no, that was not my oh. story. Everybody was like, well, yeah, but it'll pass. It didn't yeah. pass. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <here>. mom. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay, and w when you obviously started, yeah, very young then, 12, and you started having your uh, your dream being a singer, what, what would you say your, your music influences were as you grow up, as you as you grew up over the years? Was there, was there a particular singer, songwriter, was there a particular album you listened to, was there any particular music influence or type of music influenced you when, when you were growing up, inspired you to mm -hmm. sing and produce music? Yeah, well, it's very interesting because I never knew that being a songwriter was growing up was a job. Like, I didn't know that. Um, and growing up in France, uh, we French music is also like kind of back in time. Uh, mm -hmm. When you want to be a singer, everybody tells you you need to do like, you know, Edith Piaf so, uh, music and sing. Okay. So I, I kind of grew up in that, but I was always always writing song. I just was writing songs for me. I didn't know that that was like a, a job actually. And then, um, and yeah, and, and kind of, it kind of developed itself into kind of finding my own style. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I think it's like a variety of things really. Um, okay. And, and obviously with a lockdown, we've all had to adapt to, uh, um, not be able to socialize or work in, a, in the same way about to do things are more indoors and online it, would, would you say um do you you know like, do you prefer playing live or or work in a studio you know or, or working at home you know do you have any preference you know yeah no i'm, I'm a live music live. performer love going on tour 
<laughs> okay. uh, the, the studio is fun. I love the creative process. I cool. love, you know, uh, I, I took the, the first lockdown, I basically took it to record my new album. Mm. Um, so it kept me busy. I'm, I'm always busy. So I, I just adapt. I think, okay. that, you know, we can, we can stay here and say, oh my God, it, it's, a, it's horrible. Oh, you have to just kind of go with the flow and see what's happening and, and, sure. and adapt. so my adaptation was to well I got I had time so with the time I yeah I, I wrote and co-produced uh, my album um and and yeah I mean obviously you know I'm human and there's ups and downs and yeah but I I think I took this time to really kind of grow you know what I was about the music the brand sure. kind of everything together and um and yeah, so it doesn't really, it's not really, it affects and not. I mean, yeah, I haven't seen my family for a while. That's difficult. Sure. Um, but yeah, I keep myself busy and, you know, and every time I have some time, which right now is quite, it's actually really busy, but I, every time I have a little time, you know, sure. I can write a new song or so. Okay. I'm busy. <laughs> I mean, so I always ask is how, you know, how people manage to stay motivated, you know, with, with the last year. And, and and the restrictions and obviously different people have different ways. How, how have you managed? Is it been you know by focusing on the music? And is that how you've managed to stay motivated, or do you have your own? Yeah, it's everything. <laughs> I, I I'm all, I've always been somebody that kind of take you know if if I feel like I'm down or whatever, I just go online and you know watch a TV show or watch. Okay. Um, I'm like a big fan of uh, biography and. You know, people that okay. and all that stuff. So I watch a lot of that on Netflix, real story, real event, like you know, like sure. I listen to a lot of podcasts. Um, okay. You know, I listen to people that you know that give me energy. So when I feel like, oh my God, I listen to, or sometimes even when you know when you feel like, oh whatever, nothing's working, I will call a friend and say, sure. oh I'm down. So, oh how are you? And and kind of that exchange sometimes also helps. But uh, yeah, I just always constantly I'm always thinking what's next you know this is sure. like amazing for me so whenever I'm like okay what's next what's next um yeah watching things on tv t uh, you know like I said we can't go to live music but we can watch concerts on tv and it's true that's true I mean, we have the same 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 um opportunity the same uh, opportunities to, to watch entertainment it's just it's all online but we can still watch concerts and watch um <laughs> films but sense cinemas and yeah, and then, right, it was also like um, <laughs> for New Year's Eve, for example, I'm, you know, I usually go out or I've performed sure. on New Year's Eve events or, you know, so New Year's Eve for me was like, oh my God, I'm not going to stay home and be depressed. We're, sure. I'm taking this in events. So um, we had an event <laughs> planned in the apartment, <laughs> That's but sure. it was like this DJ playing, put the DJ on, play a game. You know, go make a cocktail, make sushi. I'm vegan, but vegan sushi, and like you know, just kind of Love make the half mold wine, like whatever we could do. But yeah, just that's, adapt. <laughs> I love it. No, that's the spirit. You got to, you got to adapt. I think that you know, it's the biggest lesson of the last year, so I found is that you got to adapt and and innovate um, to the changing circumstances. So yeah, certainly a thing. I was you know, I was doing lives all online, but yeah, it's constantly trying to, especially socially. You know, it's it, it, it is harder to keep that social um element where you know you can enjoy meeting your friends when every time we do it's via via a, a laptop camera but um yeah no there's, there's some great ideas there <laughs> so I like that um let's talk about your album. so with your album um you, you created during lockdown well when we're just singing for people who don't know do you do you sing in french or english or mix you know what what's your yeah so i so eight so, so there's 10 songs um the album is in French and English, but only two songs are in French. Okay. Uh, it basically follows, there's a storyline, and okay. the storyline um, comes with the album cover. So the album cover is basically my face with uh, butterflies and feathers all uh, surrounding my face. And okay, so, I want to find that. What, what was the idea behind that? Yeah. Um, so the idea was that um, this, it's a journey through self acceptance. And self-acceptance as in you are who you are. You know, sure. you are good, you are bad, you have, you know, all this, everything. It's just kind of that journey through that. Okay. And, um, so I kind of take you through my journey. Um, and every song, so there's 
so this, the album comes out as one single a month okay um, and through every song there's it's kind of like you get like a layer off so it's a layer okay. from the mask it's a layer off also of the kind of you know uh delivery um and yeah so right now we're we just released we released the french song which is just we said and then now on friday we're releasing uh settle down and that's kind of like we're hitting kind of the peak of uh of that journey of kind of you know tearing down what people tell you who you're supposed to be all that okay. stuff, kind of just being like wait hold on let, let sure. me tell you no i'm gonna tell you no because this is sure. who i am you know okay i love it what's it what's the name of the album did you say it's truth and dare truth and dare i love it and you say you know you're releasing out like a, a, a song a month how is it how is that is that for your youtube channel how, how do you how are you sharing it every every song has a music video every song also has an acoustic version and an acoustic music video that's why I'm really busy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we do everything our, on our own. So I work with uh, Aaron, my friend and, and music producer, and we produce the music video. We produce the music. We, we've done everything um, on our own. Okay. And, um, and so, um, yeah, so it's, it's, sorry, what was the question? I, I, it was, it, um, it was just how we, yeah, yeah, how you are, you know, sharing, you know, how are you playing okay. the same way, you know, do you do for YouTube or what, you know, yeah. do you have what's your way you? Yeah, so we, everything is on the same, so through Spotify, obviously all digital platform, uh, sure. every month there's a song coming out on all digital platform, actually okay. two songs because there's the acoustic version, um, so Spotify, iTunes, YouTube Music, um, whatever you listen to, it, it's on there. And then we have the music video that comes out uh, a week later. Okay. And also we do a live stream performance every uh, once a month. So this one is going to be actually Friday as well. Okay. So we do a live stream where we perform the song and, and it's um, like, you know, we're talking about connection. Uh, sure. My way of doing my live show, sure. but online. So we, what we do is we we take people. So everybody that's watching needs to like obviously comment and be part of the show. We read the cool. comments. We have somebody uh, with us, uh, my boyfriend. Okay. <laughs> Reading <laughs> all the comments. <laughs> job is to is job. To <laughs> Yeah, you got a job on this one. <laughs> um, his job is to read the comment and tell us. Okay. And, um, and then at the end, uh, through the show, you get to send us a quote or lyrics. And then at the right. end, we make a song all together. So you give me all the lyrics and then whatever happens, sure. <laughs> um, I'll start playing something and then we come up with a song. So it's our song. Okay. So a kind of collaborative yeah. community approach to, <laughs> to music. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. we yeah, so it, it's been, it's actually been a lot of fun. Um, sure. I have people that are giving me a lot of challenges. Mm. Um, we had somebody that wanted me to say chicken. It was like, <laughs> you okay, need to slip that in. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and yeah, and it was, it's, it's, you know, it's funny. The show is, sure. is about to be, it's fun, it's entertainment, okay. it's fun, but it's also obviously music and it's, it's serious. <laughs> Okay. Years, but but it, it's a fun time and and yeah and it's part of doing it together and and yeah and accepting a challenge of let's write a song and see where it goes. Great. Yeah. And I don't think every day if you don't you know, if it's all about fun you know if you don't enjoy the process or enjoy something you're not gonna you're not going to uh, carry on doing it for long. And um, yeah. <clears throat> so I think especially with the whole lockdown thing, if you moved online, I've I've interviewed a few people recently who are like authors and and. Um, there were people who were trying to, people who are uh, speakers trying to grow a brand. And, and they were saying, you know, if, if you're doing anything on social media or moving online, it is all about building that community of, of you know, people who are followers, who, but you engage with. It's it's a community of fans, your tribe. You know, you want people, you know, who, who to, um, or any business, any point, you know, anywhere it's, um, or, you know, even music making, to, you know, obviously it's a business. You, know, you want your followers to be, to be passionate about you, to be ambassadors for your brand and to, the like, comment, interact, and, and I think it's, it's interesting to hear, obviously, you know, songwriting with, with uh, music, it's, it's as well you use that approach of getting your audience involved. Um, so when you produce your albums, so your, your house, so is it all done with, you know, your different, um, your different people of your, 
you know, banned in different, all done, how did it, how did it work? Does it work, you know, you're doing also online collaboratively in the different locations? Yeah. So, yeah well, there must be some challenges there. Yeah. Um, so before I, I did uh, started my kind of my solo career, I had a band. Uh, okay. So we, we toured, we toured the US, we toured Europe. Oh, great. Uh, and we would record like this. Uh, obviously time has changed and uh, I'm so I so I come up with obviously the songwriting process and, sure. then, and then depending on how it goes uh, for example just you said I, I've kind of produced it all um, but sometimes I will go to Aaron my producer and I'll say hey you know this is what I'm looking for or sure. what or how can we do that and then from there uh we will work with musicians obviously like you know everybody's doing it on their own um but uh well on the song it's because it's quite produced it's produced so you you know you take bits and pieces uh on the acoustic side i have for example this month i'm doing a duet uh with a guitarist from brazil for example oh wow how did that, how did that come about the song yeah, I just we just connected and he was like yeah I'm a guitarist and he's more you know jazzy and stuff sure. and I thought and I was listening to his music and I was like oh that would be great I would love to yeah. do a song with him just sing and 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 do music and do that and then uh, yeah I sent him a song of mine that was coming out that's now coming out and I was like hey would you would you want to play with would you play it your version whatever you want just you know let's have fun and he okay. did it and he was it, it, it's really like yeah and i wanted for this song to to keep it as raw as possible okay uh, so like the less no no almost no you know touch up and stuff like that sure when you hear it you really feel like almost a live uh, definitely so yeah it turned out great um coming out soon as well but yeah it's yeah so i think yeah collaborate collaborating with people all around um and that that's the beauty kind of sure. right where we are is that we get to you know we get to expand our our fan base or our friends I sure no it's true in some <laughs> ways it's easier than ever to to meet more people and connect and collaborate i mean you know you can meet anyone around the world and <clears throat> and then maybe we'll meet them in the real world at some point maybe not but yeah i think in some ways it's it has it is actually easier to reach and collaborate with anyone around the world it's but made the world a bit smaller um so uh, so I'm, I mean, I'm a, I'm a copywriter, and, and one of the things I'm always, you know, training people about or telling people about is is you know, important to and storytelling, and certainly in copywriting, and if we want to promote our brand or um, we want to get a message across, or even even public speaking, you know, it's all about telling, you know, using telling stories, and you know, that's how we connect and that's how we communicate, and and um, you know, so the best brands have built their brands by by using storytelling, particularly for sort of social media. And, and, and and you know, obviously songwriting is no is no difference. You know, you I guess in your songs you're telling you're telling a story. You've got you know you've got a little message there. Maybe sometimes in your song you've got a little a little point you to get across subtly. Would you say would you say that's true? Do you agree that you know songwriting is sort of telling stories? Oh, definitely. Um, yeah. And it's also yeah, it's telling a story. It's it's therapeutic. <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I think I say more in my song sometimes than I ever said to anybody. So yeah. yeah, I guess it's all personal. I mean, it's all personal experiences, but you know, gives you is that right to say that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's based on experiences. It's based on again, like moods, and, and you know, there'll be time where like Je suis seul was written when you know there was the there there's still but the, the Black Lives Matter and and in my mind I was thinking oh my god why don't we all you know we're all humans that's mm. it like there's there yeah. shouldn't be any any we shouldn't even talk about this when 2000 at that time yeah. 20 21 now what the <laughs> heck like come on yeah. and had this yeah. thing, it's like that's normal like yeah. so so I was mad <laughs> so, yeah, I was no. so and it's and it's just you said in, in English means I'm alone but it's not like I'm I'm lonely it's sure. I'm alone but because we're all we're all singular yeah we're sure all the same, you know what I mean yep no I agree I always find it interesting that um with some musicians you know songwriters where, where their, their music's changed due to you know reflecting different things happening in their life so if, if uh, things are going great and you know and they're, they're you know perhaps in a really good relationship things are going well then then they're Music might reflect that, but then their music perhaps changes at you know a low point when 
that's where they should get up or something. So, you know, move, you know, your mood can reflect the type of music you play, I think, as well. Um, or do, you, do you think, um, you know, music affects mood? You know, do you... Oh, yeah. Yeah, for you, you know, you said earlier you play, you play different styles of music sometimes, you know, like maybe dance music or jazz, depending on your mood, would you... Is that something, you know, you can connect with that, that way, that music affects mood? Oh, yeah, I mean, this is the whole thing. I mean, my whole thing of music is that it, it changes. It, I think, I believe that it could change anybody. It could change sure. from being sad to maybe not so sad or maybe sure. even saying, you know what, let it go. <laughs> sure, <laughs> sure. And yeah. let's dance it out and, <laughs> you know. <Are> you sure? <laughs> Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, I, I'm got very eclectic taste in music, you know, quite right across the scale. And but yeah, I definitely it reflects what mood I'm in, but also you know what mood I want to be in. You know, <laughs> um, I think yeah, I think that's one of the powerful things about music is it you know it can you know it can relax you, it can excite you, it can you know it can um, give you energy, it can yeah literally change your mood directly more than anything. Um, Another question. So, just to talk about, you know, obviously, the COVID lockdown. No one's been really been traveling, but you, you know, where you've done. Where, just tell me someone. You know, you've, where have you been traveling, or where have you been playing music abroad? I think you mentioned a couple of places. You know, where, where, and where's your, where's a favorite place you play music live? Is there, is there a particular, you know, gig you play? Do you remember or a particular country you travel to? And when... mm. uh, so I lived. I'm originally from France, but I lived in America for okay years. Um, and when I was in America, that's when we, we had a band and that's when we toured. Okay. Um, so we toured Europe first, but my, my band was um, actually international. So the guitarist was from Spain, the drummer is from uh, England and the bass okay. is from America and I'm from, from France. So we decided to go to each country. <laughs> oh, well, that's good out there. Oh, that's good. Yeah, and do our shows there. And then we had Germany and the Netherlands. Okay. Um, and then, uh, and then we did the, the year afterwards, we did the US. So we did 18 states and 30 cities. Wow. Um, yeah. <laughs> Long yeah, tour. It, the, the states were intense. I, I, I preferred uh, playing in Europe. That's why I moved back. <laughs> sure, <laughs> okay. Um, and uh, yeah, a special place. I mean, for me, well, so then coming back to, to France, it was very hard to book a show. Really? Very difficult because French people ugh. and <laughs> they were like, you know, oh, your music's not going to work here. Uh, this is, is not it? style, blah, 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 all this stuff. And I, I was like, no, you need to listen. It's going <laughs> to yeah. no, it will work, you know. Anyway, so I, I, we, I found this venue, which was, you know, a friend of my brother that would put there all this sure. stuff. And it was packed. It was packed, but most none that it was packed. It was the first time that my family, French side, saw me perform. They never okay, lovely. So that was, and yeah, it just was, um, it was empowering, but okay. the, the thing that was the greatest feeling I had is that I felt like in that moment, um, I made it, but not I made it as, oh my God, it's great. I made it sure. because I had, you know, I had my musicians that I, f I felt like nothing could happen, nothing bad could happen on sure. that. It was like, I, they got my back. And then the, I felt also the audience, they got my back. Like I could, you know, mess up, fall down, crack, my voice crack, whatever. Sure. Well, I, and, and that was, that was one of the best feelings. Wow. Well, I mean, that's, that's, I mean, that's an incredible, I think we can all, we can all associate that feeling of or, or wanting that or, but that's you know, to have that feeling of yes, this is it. I, I you know I've, I've done it. I'm happy. I'm reached. Yeah, at that point in time. Um, would you? Um, we're, we're, we're looking ahead for next year. So hopefully, hopefully, you know, we're, we're going to with the vaccine, COVID's going to sort of ease up, and restrictions going to be you know be eased up, and hopefully we'll be able to get back into a normal life. What, what are your big if things do? You know, what are your big plans? You know, so you're releasing the album. Um, did you have a date for that? Did you say? Did you have a the so, final? Uh, the album will be fully released by September. Okay. Uh, by September, everything, uh, all songs will be released. Uh, but as soon as the lockdown kind of eases up and we're all happy and we'll back into life, 
uh, we're going to do a big uh, show uh, album launch. Okay. Uh, and that will be, um, you know, we're, we're making it an event. So okay. like an event of everything will be, yeah, it's, it will be an event. So we're okay. working towards that. Um, and, you know, again, I want to perform. So performing festivals, tour, you know, anywhere. I don't okay. Know. <laughs> <Just when> I <laughs> no, no, definitely. Back in life. Yeah, meet people and yeah. With, with when you mentioned you're know, playing back in um, France, you know, there's some there's some challenges. I guess I guess every country, you know, has a has a slight different culture, slight different approach to things. Would Would you say you know? Um, Getting gigs, you know, music, music is like anything. It's a bit who you know. Is it you know? Do you find that networking and building connections, yeah. it, you know, is important in, in in music, music like you know, as a, as a way. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely who you know. Um, and I mean, because I've been doing it for a while now. Um, sure. Who you know, and it it's also about how the approach is. Um, I I think for me before it was like. Uh, you know, there is that American kind of mindset, which is you need to give me this or I sure. need to get that from you. Um, but I, I was never really like this because I'm like, well, like, again, we're humans. Sure, <laughs> so, Like, you know, it's, <laughs> fine. it's great if you want to help, but if you don't want, it's OK. Like, I'm sure. not be like, oh, my God, why not? Um, yeah. and, and vice versa, I feel like it, it's an exchange. Um, yeah. But, Obviously, being knowing people in the industry um, is vital, but, but it's like building relationships. And it took me a while to understand that also because I, I was, I don't know, I was in like, it's hard to be an artist. It's hard to be an artist and represent yourself. It's, it's quite difficult because you're there. <laughs> of course. No, I mean, I, I get that. There's a lot of times um, when I've worked with people and, and if they're very good at, some people are very good at creative creative side of you know business they go producing creative content the creative process but then they're not very good at perhaps uh, if it were for themselves the, the business side which obviously takes different skills and a different sort of mindset at the time so um and obviously if you if you work for yourself in any context or any any service or product or anything you, you, you need to be have at least an awareness of um the creative aspects um but also you know there's certain sort of practical aspects as well um I think I think it also is that to balance that. Of course, you know, any, any business, anything in life, you know, it is, there is always competition. It's increasingly competitive, but I do think that where there's opportunities to connect and collaborate, that's yeah. obviously a good thing, and it's a win-win. So you know, I'm always, I'm certainly always looking to do that in, in what I do, and I, you know, that's why I join a lot of online communities. And you know, I think if we can collab either collaborate and, and, and connect, and there's, you know, so it's a win-win. Um, sorry, I do want to. Um, I, uh, yeah, I just want to add that it's it's um yeah it's a collabor collaborative and it's an exchange, but it's also um like yeah it, it's also giving. You sure. Know, you you have to kind of know you know why you're you're doing it, and then the good part of taking care of your like being the front person. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> the good part is that huh. you're building those relationships. Whatever happens it's like you're in contact constantly sure. and, and you follow you know what's happening like you know the industry you read you you're in tune with this now on the creative side that's hard because you also have to like cut down and say okay now i'm going into my bubble not sure. what's expected of me not what and no 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 i'm doing me let's see what happens afterwards <laughs> uh, different <laughs> different thing yeah do you find that hard in that sense that you know with something like music you know if you're producing music and you're you know playing live you know you are especially yourself you're like you know you're um in the in the public eye to an extent you know you obviously got an audience you're interactive them and you know you're exposing you know yourself also you know they get to know you is that hard at times so you know especially you know if you're doing um if you're doing stuff on social media or doing stuff live on zoom anyway like that so obviously you are people get to know you and it must be hard to get you know, obviously because you've got your to an extent you know your your work and your, your you know your musician side and your personal side is that something that's hard at times or or just yeah you know. I meditate <laughs> <laughs> I work out uh to to tell you the truth when I started my career that was very difficult for me to uh it's not only like the the, the 
kind of the out life it's also like the industry the you know the critics the all this stuff that you're kind of taking in and you're oof, you're taking it all in and you're like oh my oh. god um and, th and there's you know there's bad people out there there's good people out there but it's like finding the balance sure, um, of course. and so yeah i i, I actually took on yoga and meditation to deal okay. with all of that yeah okay and, yeah because so i guess one of those things where you know if you're working i think particularly in the creative industries you, you know we, we want to promote our brand and we want to get as much in some ways you know grow our following get as much publicity as we can but you know by doing that there's obviously if there's you know if there's uh, challenges of um you know of, of you know whether we get more comments and whether they're all you know positive and negative so i think yeah i think it's certainly um, it's an interesting interesting yeah. question yeah, no, yeah it's true it's, it's it is intense but i think it's i don't know it's all a matter of like a perspective you know like oh. yeah you get things where i'm like you know, people will comment and, and I don't like the comments. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. oh my God, this is so untrue. Or like, they'll <laughs> criticize and I, you know, I'll go back to my producer and I'll be like, you know, they say this, they say that, da, da, da. Um, so I would have like, he's my person that would say to me, well, so what? Doesn't matter. Cool. Just keep going, keep going, keep going. Because nothing is perfect. You know, we're, cool. nothing we're going to do is perfect. Uh, there's gonna, always going to be a new song to write or a new, you know, whatever uh, number one to hit. So it's just kind of following the process and keep going and, yeah. and, and yeah, and kind of letting go of, you know, the, the negativity and just be like, okay, well, sometimes it's good, you know, critic criticism is good sometimes. Sometimes it's, oh, great. Thank you for telling me, you know, yeah. uh, but sometimes, yeah, it's. No, it's part of a learning process if it's constructive. Um, but I guess, yeah, it's not a mindset. It's all, you know, it's, it's like that saying that, you know, 80% of success in life, it's mindset and 20% of skill set. Whether that proportion is right, I mean, clear, yeah, I think that was clearly that mindset is very important, whatever you do. Um, so, Andrea, we, we're coming sort of towards the end of our, of our chat. So, just to say to my, you know, if anyone watching this, you know, please, you know, do subscribe if you want to hear any more notifications, any more interviews. I have some... I do interview people who, yeah, like I say, inspire and influence. I believe in influence is one of the most important skills in life because if you can't influence people to listen to you, follow you, maybe buy your products or service, um, listen to your music, then obviously you won't be doing what you do for long. You won't be in business for long, you know, and whatever we do in life, if we want to influence, we want better behave children or we want a new relationship, we need to influence people to listen um, and, and, you know, why they should um listen to you and follow you and and also you know just anything getting a job we influence the interviewers getting a build our career influencing is one of the most important skills in life uh, so andrea you know just our last question i always ask people i chat to if they've got any sort of tips and um, they can share so you know related to what they do is there any tips um if it's someone's watching this and they're, they're, they're perhaps a, you know a musician or aspiring musician and they're struggling you know with a, with a perhaps with a lockdown any any sort of a few tips you can share how you've managed to keep going you know producing this album yeah you, know, uh, uh, um, you have to send yourself so that's okay. bigger than you cool. it's not about your you know it's not about your talent it's not only about your talent your talent is your voice to put it out but your goal, what you want to reach out, what, what's your reason to do it, your reason why will make everything, you, you will keep going. But if it's only about, you know, am I a good singer or I'm, it's too, it's very hard to, to be in this industry if you, if you think like that, or it's, it's just very difficult mentally and, and especially in these moments. Um, and my other thing is, uh, you know, do a little bit every day. Don't need to do a lot, just do a little bit. Just, you know, if you're a musician, maybe practice a song that makes you happy um, and, and do things. I, I really believe in doing things. That's my, actually my New Year's resolution is to take pleasure in doing more things, you know, like, okay. you know, practicing sometimes could be, could be amazing. And it could be, you could think, oh my God, I'm the worst singer or I'm the worst, you know, piano player, whatever, I'm the worst. Um, <laughs> but sometimes, it could also be like, well, you know what? I did uh, 30 minutes today and that's fine. And tomorrow I'll do 30 minutes. And, and just like this, just a little by little, uh, you grow and then you, you'll start, you know, 
enjoy like not enjoying obviously you'll enjoy it if you like it but uh, you'll start kind of growing also as a person and perhaps it could help your mental state and you feel achieved i think if okay. you achieved you feel positive if you feel positive in you give positivity out <laughs> i like it no, i like it and that's why i always ask the question because everyone has their, their own little tips you know what works for them um, and something works for one person or worth another, but it's, it's just interesting to hear how, you know, how people um, stay motivated, you know, how, how they've, what they've learned from what they do. And um, I like that what you said about, um, so obviously establishing good habits, doing something regular every day, but also about the why. Um, you know, I hear that, I've heard quite a lot, and I, I really find that fascinating, you know, about this, this, that it's not what you do in life, and a lot of people don't care what you do, it's, it's why you do it. If your passion, if your why is strong enough, then your passion for that will show through. And, you know, if you why, if you're why you do something isn't strong enough, you'll never achieve anything. You know, you need to really know why you're doing it, be passionate about it. So great tips. I appreciate that. Um, so just to round this up, you know, we can influence other people in so many ways. You know, it can be by when we're, the way we speak, when we're perhaps speaking on stage or speaking in a meeting or one-to-one, -one. you know, some people, um, influence others or inspire others by their writing. It could be a blog, a social media, a speech, um, an article, but also, you know, music. It's, it, it, it is, we are inspired by music. We inspire others, you know, it can change our mood. It can tell a story. There's so many ways. The important thing is that we need to, we need to promote ourselves in life. We need to share our message. Whatever we do, get out there, be confident, be passionate, and tell your story and share expertise. Mm -hmm. So, Andrea, oh yes, over to you. Sorry, I would add. Kindness. 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 Kindness inspires kindness. So. Love it. Kindness inspires kindness. That, that, well, that's a fantastic so always quote to leave on. There you go from Andrea. Kindness inspires kindness. Maybe we should all be a bit more kind. It's like the random, the raw random act of kindness um, principle. Let's all go out there and do one random act of kindness to someone in a social distance way, of course. Um, <laughs> So Andrea, thanks very much for, for today. It's great to chat to you. I really enjoyed it. And um, yeah, lots, lots of great stories you told, lots of you know, sharing your tips and it's really good. So yeah, I look forward to hearing about your, you know, when you're, you can post your album and um, I'll, share, I'll share some of your links um, below, this, below this post. So Thank it was great you. Thank you for okay. having me. No problem. Thank you. <laughs>